What is up everyone? Welcome to the Switching Gears channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. All right, so I promised you guys last video that in today's video, we're gonna talk about the uh, issue that I had kind of getting my suspension. We will talk about that soon enough. Right now, we are heading to meet up with someone who helped me a whole lot physically starting this channel. It'll be nice to finally have you all get to meet him. Great dude, great channel. I'll have that link and everything in the description here. Also with me today, I have Mrs. Gears, and we're all meeting up and we're gonna go head up to Burt's Black Widow and hang out there for a little bit. It really does surprise me how different these shocks feel compared to stock. But anyways, let's uh, head up the road here a bit and meet up with Ryden Ned. Got earplugs in. Yeah, I'm also. I'm also. Oh, hold on. Bibs. <laughs> huh? It's a bib. It's like. Nuts. Yeah, my legs are good. My feet are a little toasty. I got. I thought you I did my heated socks. Yeah, this is Ryan Dad, guys. Like Subscribe to his channel. He's not sponsored by the bibs though. You should whoever uh, whoever makes these bibs should sponsor him. Whoever makes these bibs should sponsor him. <laughs> Alright, so, so like I was trying to explain back there, this is riding dad up here. For those of you that don't follow him, uh, he currently rides a sportster. Uh, can't remember the year, he just told me. Like I was telling you earlier, he helped me start my channel out. Not really a big technology guru, and he helped walk me through everything and helped get me started. And he still helps me out quite a bit. I call him all the time, ask him questions about stuff. He just recently picked up the Sportster. He's had quite a bit of bikes. Uh, just check out his channel, and you can pretty much see every bike that he's had for the most part. I know he's had a Dyna. Um, he's had a Grom. Uh, low rider s now he's had this anyways lots of cool stuff go ahead and check him out ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yeah yeah I kept it upright as long as I could didn't even put my foot down. You know, I never really understood why people call sportsters girl bikes. Yeah, they're a starter bike. Yeah, girls usually get them as their first bikes. Blah, blah, blah. But I like them, especially since Harley stopped making them now. I love you. you know, a smaller motor. Who freaking cares? A bike's a bike, baby. But I've always thought they sounded awesome. I mean, listen to his bike. Being on a topic, for those of you that have uh, been around on the channel for a while, know this about me, but I like all bikes. I always hate when there's a stigma with a certain bike or a certain brand. Like, who cares? As long as you're riding, you're cool with me, baby. All you gotta do is jump on YouTube and check out all the different things that people do to their sportsters. I mean, people turn them into a, a dirtster style, choppers. It's just a crazy wide range of different styles you can do to that bike. There's a boatload of parts online that you can grab for that bike. So yeah, that's just my opinion. Don't talk crap about sportsters. 
they're still a cool bike. Anyways, I'm gonna sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. I got about 30 minutes or so to ride up there. And uh, I'll see you guys when we get up there. All right, so I'm not really getting to end this video the way I wanted to. I wanted to talk to you guys on the way back from Black Widow to the place we were going to eat about the issues that I had with Speed Kings. But when we were loading up on the bikes at Black Widow, I noticed that my chin mount wasn't really fixed to my helmet the way it should be. I didn't want to take the chance of my GoPro falling off, so here we are. Now let's kind of get into what happened with me and Speed Kings. Now I recently purchased some new suspension, which you've seen in a previous video, but I got it through Speed King Cycles. Now after talking with some of you guys and Ryden Dad, I found out that I'm not the only one who's had issues with Speed Kings. Ryden Dad, who you've seen earlier in the video, he's bought stuff through them and had issues with their customer service as well. And some of you have told me that you've had issues. So I figured this was something worth talking about. Now I wanna make it clear before I get into this, that this suspension company was awesome throughout this whole encounter and any questions that I ever had, they answered it directly, honestly, and as annoying as I might've been, they were awesome. All right, so anyways, I purchased this product from Speed King on Black Friday. The best deal I could find was from Speed Kings. But prior to me wanting to purchase it, I decided to call them to make sure that it was in stock and that it should arrive at a reasonable time. Now when I called and I spoke with one of the representatives at Speed Kings, they told me that this product was going to take about a week to ship out, which I was fine with. And they also wanted to let me know that they were currently transitioning warehouses. He said that they were doing that over the weekend and then come the following week, they would start packaging out orders and then my product would be shipped. Now, after not hearing anything back from them after that first week, I start messaging them a couple times on their app that they have on that website with absolutely no response. I also send two or three emails over that time as well with no response from them as well. And just so it's known, throughout that whole entire time, I never received any messages back or emails back from them. And of course, I also tried the phone number, which was disconnected. Now, I also follow Speed Kings on their social media. And from out the time of purchase up until this two, two and a half week mark, I see a boatload of activity, but no response to me. And after browsing the comment section a little bit, I see that I'm not the only one who's having issues with either getting in contact with them or receiving their orders. Now, after commenting with another customer who was having issues as well, Speed Kings finally sees a comment from me and sends me a message letting me know their new phone number. Now, after calling this number and speaking with a representative at Speed Kings, the guy that I spoke with tells me that the reason my order hasn't been shipped out yet is it's being custom made and that it will ship out soon and he hastily got off the phone. Now anybody that knows anything about custom made suspension knows that you need to know the rider's weight, riding style, and etc. Which Speed Kings didn't have any of that. 
Now, of course, not liking those answers, I decided to call the suspension company itself in hopes of getting the right answers. Which, of course, any questions I had about what was going on, they answered them honestly and were just all around great. Their customer service was top notch. Speed Kings wasn't. Anyways, this representative at this suspension company lets me know that my order was just recently sent to them and it is being made to order and then it will be sent out within the next seven to 10 days. He also told me that after that time, feel free to call back and see where I'm at in the process of it being shipped out. Now on December 18th, I called the suspension company back and they let me know that my order has been made, but it can't be shipped out due to the fact that Speed Kings hasn't paid them yet. Now after getting off the phone with them, I call Speed Kings and let them know that my product can't be shipped until they pay them and they tell me that it will be paid immediately. Now of course, Speed Kings didn't pay them right away like they said they would, but my product finally ships on December 20th. Oh, and also when I did see that this shipped, I tried getting a tracking number from Speed Kings as well, but I'm sure you guys can guess how that went. I never got a direct answer. But hey, you guys, the story has a happy ending. I got the product. If any of you guys that are watching this video now have had issues with Speed Kings in the past, let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious just to see how many of y'all that watch my channel have had issues with them. Anyways, y'all, thanks for listening to me rant. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that alert notification button. Now we can be reminded what's going on here at the Switching Gears channel. See you on the next one, guys.